And look who's decided to join me. Seems that there is a cat in residence, unless he's a travelling cat. And I've just met them in the corridor, and they just decided to pop in through the open door. So one thing you might want to bear in mind is, if you have a cat allergy, this hostel, or rather hotel, is not for you. Oh, and... Suddenly the cat was gone. Did I dream it? Oh, I don't know. I might see you in the morning. Wasn't that fun? Here we are. This is the place I'm staying. Officially known as Yes Nietzsche. Yes, I'm still struggling with that word. <laughs> yes Nietzsche Stradnieku workers hotel as you can see not easy to find this place because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere zero signage good luck if you're coming here arriving at night luckily i arrived in the day and there were plenty of people to help me pinpoint it and the funny thing is once you know where it is you're slapping your forehead thinking oh of course why didn't i find it straight away well it's not signposted. <clears throat> There's nothing to say it's any kind of hotel or any building of any description. Let's look at the positives. Very comfortable first night, very comfortable, slept great, it's a quiet place, quiet people staying there and I didn't see any specific workers, just several, I suspect, Latvian nationals, couple in the kitchen, couple of people passing in the corridor yeah, just a low budget hotel option obviously when you get to the autumn winter beginning of springtime perhaps it is full of workers I don't know but something I noticed uh, when I was looking on the map was that there are several streets here called um, like there's a Seltnieku street and I think Seltnieku means engineers. It doesn't necessarily mean that the workers' hotel is just for workers, like a workers' hostel or something. It could be just that with the industry that must have taken place in Bent's Pills, it must have seemed obvious to them to name their streets, engineers, workers. There was another one Bricklayers Street or Baker's Street or something. Yeah, the, the streets seem to be named after the people who are living here because we're right at the end of what used to be a rail track and it seems as though there was quite a lot of rail activity back in the day. When I was walking here yesterday I noticed that there are several sort of dis they look like discarded wagons not not appealing in any way not worth filming but yeah they used to carry I guess gas coal wood who knows because this is a port here we go well that was very convenient right on time that's Marshrutka or minibus number 22 and that's the minibus if you want to take the, the strain off your, your, your tired and weary feet and legs. Perhaps if you are in a hurry or you just don't fancy walking as I will be into town every day, you can jump on the, this little Marshrutka minibus number 22. They come very often, costs a euro according to the internet and that will take you in close proximity to the bus station among other places but i suspect that will be the most interesting starting point for you so i just wanted to show you how close to the hotel the actual bus stop is so even if it's raining no worries and we are over here 
and the bus will take you back over the bridge back to where close to where the Rimmy is and then it will take you up here close to the bus station nice also very conveniently straight across the road over there is an LV supermarket what more do you need eh not only that if you don't feel like popping into an LV supermarket but you have need of maybe an a chemists for example <laughs> then there's another supermarket just around the corner to the right top supermarket included in that building is an apteca chemist so really you've got it made everything almost on your doorstep what 200 meters away from the hotel this direction supermarket 200 meters 300 meters in the other direction supermarket an apteca bus stop considering it's on the wrong side of the river and out of town and it only costs a euro to get into town then yeah got it made really haven't you I think what I'll do is because frankly <laughs> the walk isn't the most interesting not for filming I mean it's perfectly fine it's a fresh day it's nine o'clock on the ninth nine degrees actually I checked so it's a bit nippy I've got my jacket on because yes it was plus 19 degrees a couple of days ago and now it's nine degrees should be warming up to about 16 by the late afternoon got my uh, jacket on just to keep the chill off especially when I'm walking over that bridge above the river. That's what the hotel looks like. Remember for when you come back at the end of the day. See you back in the center of Ventspils. Over there on an island is a large monument to the year 1905, I think it says. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? sounds like hmm that era of Russian Tsardom when there was revolution in the air but not quite fermented sufficiently to topple the regime so I'm thinking those three earnest looking gentlemen who are the subject of this monument Hmm, 1905. Maybe they were patriotic Latvians who saw an opportunity to perhaps strive for independence from the Russian Empire. But that's just conjecture, conjecture on my part. Conjecture. Now, I started filming again because I jumped forward from the hostel, walked my way basically along the bus route-ish, this will be a walk I do again tomorrow because I decided tomorrow will be a good day to visit Kuldiga. The weather looks all pretty much the same over the next few days so nothing to be gained from going on any particular day. However, I just thought after yesterday's bus ride instead of getting on a bus for an hour and a bit to get there and the same coming back I would enjoy having a walk around and there's plenty to see I think what I noticed yesterday which was very nice was that the I was going to say the top attraction top attraction is actually the toilet in 160 meters maybe necessary after a long walk from the hotel However, no, the top real attraction, 840 metres away, is the Livonian Order Castle, 13th century castle, not been there before. And according to the internet, I mean, I was just looking to see some of the history and, you know, getting those details stuck in my head so that I could 
just let them roll off my tongue today and make it sound as though I was vaguely intelligent and had studied some Latvian history. However, I couldn't help noticing that the entrance fee was one euro. Seriously? Well, for five floors of history museum set in a castle, can't really say no to that, can you? I'm not going to say no to it. I think I will um, take advantage of the fact that this is a very reasonable cost. You may remember in videos before, I'm thinking perhaps of Hapsalu and as well as Tallinn and also maybe on Kurasara. Uh, sorry, in Kurasara, Kurasara Castle on the island of Sarama up in Estonia. Uh, you know, I've debated about my philosophy on when to pay to go into attractions. And there's this thing of you know, if you, if you, if this is your thing and you do travel a lot and you discover that, yeah, from time to time you have an incredibly good historic attraction here or art artistic attraction or culturally important attraction in some other way and it's free or it's one euro like this castle, then I wouldn't say you get used to that, but because you know they exist out there and you don't want to go into a castle every week, perhaps you might not even want to go into a museum at all. But for those of us who are interested, then do I want to pay 15, 20 euros to go into this attraction when I can probably go into something equivalent really for far less a little bit further down the track hmm anyway here's an example today of being able to enjoy an attraction at low cost it suits the cheap traveler like me here's a nice bus station and obviously they got cafes in there and all sorts and here's one of our first features of Ventspils. Isn't that cute? <laughs> A demonstration breaking police cow. Ventspils famous for cows of course. Very useful tourist map over there and more incredibly useful information up here which details things like the flower, flower clock. <laughs> Got to be careful how I pronounce that. This water amusement park. And oh, tourist information center, 700 meters that way. That's a bit out of the way really, isn't it? But it's bang right outside the ferry terminal. I don't know how many people arrive in Ventspils as tourists by ferry. You might not be surprised. There is the St. Nikolai Orthodox Church, 600 meters up there. So, and there's more churches, the Market Square. I think you'll, you can see by the distances, there's a lot within about, uh, well, less than a kilometer of where I'm standing, as this is what I consider to be a sort of main street that curves around. There's not a real, a real hub as such, I don't think anyway. So what I think I will do is sneak across the road, if nothing's coming, why not sneak across the road? Oh, birdie's drinking, so if you're coming with a pet or you want to fill your water bottle, there you go. Free, free water bottle fill on top of all the other bonuses of coming to Vents Pills. Where, people will say, Vents Pills? Well, why would you come to Vents Pills? And where is it? Well, we already know where it is. And 
Why does it get its name Ventspils? There's the river Venter here. Don't know what that means. I've been too lazy to look it up. But Pils means castle. So if there's a place like Ventspils, Yekab Pils, Daugav Pils, you know, at least at one point in history, there was a castle there. And that in itself is a temptation, isn't it? Why not go and see a place? Because at least there should be something connected to a castle there. If not the whole thing, then the remains, the ruins. And it's nice to get off the beaten track where tourists, other tourists fear to tread or they've basically not got enough time and there are too many other delightful destinations that they can prioritize over dusty old forgotten, half forgotten towns such as Ventspils. I think it will become apparent through the course of the day, the next few days perhaps, why it's worth coming to Ventspils if you've got the inclination. Here's, here's some beauty in decay. My goodness. Patina, patina. Yes. Some rusty old ironwork as well. Gosh, crying out for restoration. It's not going to look so nice as this when they decide to uh, put in the white PVC plastic windows, is it? But hopefully whoever gets the uh, contract to upgrade this building, if, it, if that ever happens in fact, then they'll have a, a bit more sensitivity and local authorities will ensure anyway, I imagine, that they will do the restoration tastefully. Another nice old building over up there. Let's just step into the road and risk death to capture that on video. And of course, a driver hears me saying that, tempting fate, so I better step back to avoid death. Now, where were we going? That's right, we were going to find that church. I don't really want to go to the ferry terminal and I don't think I need to go to the tourist information if I'm honest. I just need to know is it that way or this way to go to the church and I'm going to go this way. Let's see if my hunch pays off shall we. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, certainly Ventspils is very user friendly for the tourists, even though not many people come here. Because, yet again, here, there's lots of information. Fountain, ship observer. Oh, hang on, now I'm attracted. Market Square, ferry terminal, promenade on the street, excursion boat, adventure park, the castle. It's all down there, isn't it? But I had thought in my foolish mind that the first port of call ought to be that Orthodox church, which isn't signposted as being down there. So I'm thinking by default, I am right in coming this way to try and locate the church. What do you reckon? Does it sound like logic or am I just being foolhardy? Me being foolhardy? <laughs> I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, I'll come back to you when I found that church. This is interesting. No German shepherds allowed, but if you've got other dogs, other breeds, or a mongrel, maybe they are allowed. Don't know. 
no mobile phone use, presumably, rather than no mobile phone at all. No, what's this? No video filming, but you can use a camera, no mention of flash, and um, no karaoke? These things are a little bit ambiguous, aren't they? But the issue for me is, does that mean beyond this point, or are they just giving you ample warning? Because it doesn't make sense really otherwise. None of those forbidden things are allowed once you get inside the building. Let's have a look. I'll turn the camera off and stop recording very shortly. I think better stop for certain here. Yes, no German shepherds, no karaoke. We're now leaving the cathedral. But as you're walking around, you can't really get lost, even if you've never been here before. And with those frequent uh, signposts, there's almost a temptation to try to get lost. I dare you to try and get lost in vent spills. Oh, here is the Stenner Line ferry terminal. I wonder where they sail to. Oh, tourist information's there. You see, you're not heading for tourist information and you still find it. And everything I see on the board is two, three, four hundred meters away. <laughs> All nice and convenient. So if you're patient, as I say, if you're patient, you can't get lost. Just, just keep walking, just keep strolling and see what's around the uh, <clears throat> corner. Yes, exactly. Just see who you might meet turning around the corner. Well, a bit of an animal feature going on here isn't there after last night with the cat and this morning another cat different cat and this morning's cat was crying as if she had been forgotten and not given breakfast so i'm sure they're pampered in the hotel last night's cat was feeling a little bit frisky and although I let, um, oh dear, should you be out running? Let's hope he hasn't got anything nasty and he's not spreading it. <clears throat> yeah, being selfish really, thinking about me of course. Yes, the frisky cat last night. She helped herself to entering my room and no sooner had she than she was on her back trying to grab me, claw me and bite. You know, you've always got to be careful when you let a female into your private boudoir, haven't you? You need to establish some ground rules at the, uh, at the outset. What's permissible? Try and limit expectation for both parties. But that cat, well, she thought she owned the place, which as she lives there, may not be a surprise at all to any of us. But it was a bit of a surprise to me. Nasty scratch and bite, but no blood drawn. Give me a dog any day. The cat exited once she realized that I wasn't her, her plaything. She couldn't just wrap me around her little finger or her little paw. Nice. To, See cats around the place, an absolutely horrendous and a health risk for those of you who are listening and thinking, my God, I could have died if that had been me. I suffer from serious allergies. Well, in that case, Hotel Stradnieku is not for you.
but it's certainly for me and although my room may have looked a little basic and and was kind of basic the bed was super comfortable it really was and although it was chilly outside without the heating on the room was sufficiently warm and if it hadn't been there were extra blankets in a cupboard so I'm knocked out by that find 14 euros you can't go wrong can you especially when some people were paying double that for their dorm beds in Riga yep we're in cow country cattle country it's the love parade for cows you may remember when this all started up about 20 years ago or so in Berlin and I saw it there but then in time the cows disappeared quite quickly actually I don't know if they got transported here to Ventspils or if Latvians just took to the cow parade theme and thought yeah that would brighten up the riverside it would make an interesting juxtaposition compared to all the old industrial cranes and things on the other side of river which I actually like you know it may not be for everybody some may say oh that's an eyesore uh-oh I'm in danger of missing a seated cow should I bother going out of my way hmm depends how attractive she is I think typical male outlook of course well, she sat all on her own you know what's going through my mind she's almost asking for the attention isn't she isn't she what a swine I am a swine approaching a bovine and it's also worth pointing out at this point not only is there a, a lady cow on her own but there are some useful public toilets right there so if you if you're caught short that will come to your rescue and here she is nameless a little on the young side for me I suspect so I shall act appropriately and keep my distance nice big boat coming in in the background where's that one been I wonder and what's he been up to we'll never know onward and cowwood I think Are you calling me a coward no cow would it's play on work oh never mind why do I bother here we have another cow and this is a particularly much photographed well-known cow quite a few of them are of course that this one grabs more attention than others I think and wow yeah definitely in need of a bit of uh, TLC I think because paintwork showing signs of cracking or is it the rust underneath yeah I think it's the rust underneath isn't it yeah need a bit of attention you you're being overlooked still nice all the same and I'm sure kids or people who have not forgotten what it's like to be young but are officially adults <clears throat> you know there's such people in the world they might enjoy having some selfies there have fun a, a line of four or five of them mounted on that industrial cow industrial pipeline of a cow for one long photo and why not here we are and without having to look too closely 
we're somewhere around here. Which is all you need to know because this is sort of where things are at for the tourists. But there is a very nice park over here. Yes. I think we might, I'm not sure if we'll get to that today or if that will be for after our trip to Kuldiga. We'll have to see because I've got it in my head that five floors worth of Livonian Order Castle Museum may or may not be quite um, time consuming. The downside of it, I have to point out, from what I've read online, is that nothing's um, available in English, no available detail to add some flavour and explanation to the exhibitions. It's only in Latvian, but that's just what I've read on TripAdvisor comments. Yes, TripAdvisor, it's still going. And still has its use, as it always did, and always will, I suspect. Let's hope so.